you've got to trust the wisdom of 12 people who had to compromise with a mixture of feelings. A day after jurors convict former DeKalb County Police Officer Robert Olson of aggravated assault and not felony murder, the former DA weighs in, calling it a nightmare case for both sides. More from that former DeKalb County prosecutor in a moment. But first, a juror opening up about tensions during deliberations. He says that race was a major factor in deciding Olson's fate. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live in DeKalb County where she's breaking it all down. Hi there. Hello, Juror 31 is a 36 year old black man who does not want to be identified. He's a father and he tells us it was often difficult to convince the non white jurors that Olson should be convicted of anything. Now Olson is now out on bond awaiting sentencing next month. He faces up to 35 years in prison for shooting and killing 26 year old Anthony Hill in 2015. The Air Force veteran was naked and mentally unstable when Olson answered a call about his behavior. Now this case divided a jury. There were seven women and five men on it. And of the 12, five were black, five were white. One person was Asian, another was Latino. Jurors deliberated for six days until reaching their split verdicts. Olson was found not guilty of felony murder, but he was convicted of four other felonies, included, including aggravated assault. Juror 31 tells us there was tension in the jury room as discussions often centered around race. As the sole black man on the jury, he says he tried to get others to see his point of view and find Olson guilty of both felony murder counts. The background plays a major factor in, 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 in one and two. And when you put the background of me and the folks that was actually saying that he was not, he was not guilty on one or two, they didn't encounter what I encountered. They didn't encounter some of the stuff that I went through. So they will not be able to come up with a ruling on guilty on one and two. Tensions definitely ran high in that jury room, and we are now working to find out whether Olson will receive his benefits, including his police pension, because of this conviction. In DeKalb County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley, thank you. That jury spent 27 hours deliberating Robert Olson's fate for killing Anthony Hill. We spoke with former DeKalb County prosecutor Rob Bob Wilson. He told our Rebecca Schramm the case was a nightmare for both prosecutors and defense attorneys. This particular case is a bit of both the prosecution's and the defense's nightmare because it's a difficult case. And I suspect there were a lot of tensions in that jury room. I suspect there were a lot of pushback both ways about a lot of different things. Right now, Robert Olson is free on $80,000 bond. He will be sentenced November 1st.